What's going on YouTube? This is Sehaman and today we're going to be taking a look at a Marvel Legends figure. Uh, this is the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure. This is the Nemesis series. Nemesis. This was a Walmart exclusive released back in uh, 2009. And the other figures that were in this line um, to complete Nemesis or aka Holocaust, you had to get the Astonishing Beast, Black Bolt, uh, Daredevil, Nova, Punisher, and uh, Tigra. Or Tigra. <clears throat> I didn't purchase any of the figures. I managed to pick this guy up loose at Frank and Sons. Been wanting him for a while, but it seems like everywhere I went, he was like $50 or more. So I managed to get him for uh, way cheaper than that. Um, he has a little uh, problem with the uh, little helmet part on the top that comes off and it like breaks, it breaks, at, it broke at the peg. And I've heard other people say they've had the same uh, problem with this figure, but I can always super glue it. Um, <clears throat> and the figure looking at it is just really, really nice. And he is made by uh, Hasbro. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get a close look at the Build-A-Figure Nemesis or Holocaust. And I don't know about you guys, but if you guys read the Age of Apocalypse back in like the 90s, I actually really enjoyed the comic series. That was one of the few, the last few X-Men um, comics I read was the, the Age of Apocalypse. I didn't read too much after that. I kind of stopped getting into comics at the time. Um, but if you take a look at the, at the uh, detailing, it's actually really, really nice. He's got a lot of orange. And uh, I think this is like an orange or yellowish color with like these little like violet colored um, dots all over. He is uh, translucent in some parts. He's got this like weapon here in the left hand, which is which I actually really like. I think that looks really cool. And like I said, this part does open up, but it's broken back here like in the pegs so be careful when you get this figure because I've heard a lot of people say that when you lift this up it does it does break and then here's the um there's a little skeleton inside it's nice little detailing on this little guy you can see that there he does have articulation the head can rotate side to side he actually can pop off as well but he looks like he's holding on He's held on by those two little clear rubbery band thingies, but I'm not going to take him out of here. But I just wanted to let you guys know he does have articulation, and you can see he's uh, pretty nicely detailed. And this does close. There you go. So like I said, just careful back here with the pegs. You can see it's it's broken. The seller told me that um, he had problems with it. And like I said, on other people's reviews on YouTube, they've said the um, the exact same thing. Now, in the, in the way of uh, Nemesis's articulation, he does have the upper torso articulation. Allows him to go, rotates 360, up and down. The legs can go in and out. And I don't know if they can go forward and back. I don't think so, but they can rotate. Um, he does have a uh, bend at the knee. The foot can go up and down. Also side to side. The arms go in and out forward and back. Mm, careful when you go forward and back because it just opens up this little flap. He can bend at the um, at the elbow. He does have a little wrist swivel here. His arm can rotate as well. This is the same thing on this arm but no, no swivel at the wrist. So again, this figure is a really, really nice figure. Definitely worth picking up. Um, I wasn't really a too much of a fan of the wave, I think the only figure that I that I wanted to get, but I still haven't gotten them yet, was the Nova, Daredevil, and Black Bolt. Didn't really care too much for uh, Punisher, Tigra, and uh, the Astonishing Beast. So I might, I might just pick up the three I just mentioned loose later on down the line. But right now, my main goal is trying to get the uh, the um, ba all the baths from the Marvel Legends. So I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a friend trying to help me out there and trying to hunt down the rest of the ones I need which is Fing Fang Foom, Nemesis, and Ronin get a back shot of the figure it's actually a really nice figure I can't believe I waited so long to get this one as well but again I'm happy I did because I got him for a great price just a really really cool um, build a figure by Hasbro I mean nothing along the lines of what Toys, Toy Biz did especially as far as size goes because Hasbro hasn't really given us a huge build a figure besides like Fing Fang Foom. 
but he's a great he's a great figure and he's pretty articulated and uh, again just like I said careful with this top part because it does break off and that's pretty much it guys uh, today we're taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Nemesis series we were looking at the build a figure nemesis uh, figure I, I definitely highly recommend um, especially if you were a fan like me of the Apoc Age of Apocalypse uh, series. Okay, guys, this is Sehaman. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. We'll see you guys next time.